All right. Let's take a look here. We've got trig lecture 928 and 929. The student will find the value of an indicated trig function given a described right triangle. Now we've done this in the past, but we were given a figure of the right triangle. And this time we're just going to be given a description of it, and we're going to try to find the value of a trig function that's indicated. And so here's what it's going to look like, and hopefully this will make sense. I'm sure you guys will get it. Uh, in triangle ABC, angle C is 90 degrees, so we have a right triangle. Angle C is the right angle, and side C will be the hypotenuse. Find the value of the trig function indicated. Again, when I'm just given information, and I'm not given a figure, I'm going to draw my own figure, and I'm not going to really pay any attention to whether it's to scale or not. I'm just going to give myself a place to label everything and then find what it is I'm looking for. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to take a look at a right triangle, try to draw one, and label it A, B, and C. Where angle C is the right angle, and then side A will be across from angle A, opposite angle A, opposite angle B will be side B, opposite angle C will be side C. And I want A to equal 8, because that's what I'm given. I want B to equal 6, because that's also what I'm given. And, whoops. I'm going to say no. We don't need an update at the moment. Uh, we'll leave that there for a second. I may have to get rid of that. No, it went away by itself. Okay, where was I? And C is 10. Here we go. With that in mind, I'm asked to find the tangent of A. It's pretty straightforward. You just use the definition of the tangent from a perspective of angle A. Here's angle A. Tangent is defined as opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent will give me 8 over 6, if I haven't made any mistakes. And then I reduce the tangent of A. In this case, it would be 4 over 3. And we would look for that among our choices, and there we go. If we were asked to find angle A, of course, hopefully by now you would realize we would take the inverse tangent. And that would give us the measure of angle A. But we weren't. We were just asked to find the tangent of A. So let's move on to the next one. Find the secant of A. If B is 10, C is 10 radical 2, and A is 10. So I'm going to, again, sketch a right triangle that's not to scale. Label A, B, and C. Side C is opposite angle C. Side A is opposite angle A. And side B is opposite angle B. I'm going to label my sides. Looks like side B is 10. Oops. Erase that so I can move it a little bit. B equals 10. Uh, C is equal to 10 radical 2. This one probably won't move either. Of course it won't. Hey, damn it. Doo -doo. Yay for erasers. C is 10 radical 2. It's pretty sloppy. And A is also 10. What well, do you know? That's an isosceles triangle. This is pretty close to scale. I want the secant of A. Well, from a perspective of A, the secant is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So that'll be 10 radical 2 over 10. Let's say the secant of A is 10 radical 2 over 10. The secant is the inverse of the cosine. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. And now I'm going to simplify this. I see that these tens will cancel each other out. Since the, this is not a sum or a difference, it's a, these are two factors, they're being multiplied. These tens will cancel one another out and leave me with 1 radical 2 over 1, which we just call radical 2. And that is what I would be looking for among my choices, providing I haven't made any mistakes. Okay. Secant A is radical 2. I'm kind of sloppy this morning. There we go. Let's 
Let's see, I got one more. I think by now you have the idea of it. What the heck, we'll do one more. What else have we got to do? Uh, the cosine of A is what I'm looking for. C is 13, B is 12, A is 5. So here we go, I'm going to draw another right triangle. Not paying attention to scale, although the last one was pretty close just by luck. Uh, call this A, B, and C. I want C to be 13, so C opposite angle C is 13. I want B to be 12, so opposite angle B is side B, which is 12. And opposite angle A is 5. A is 5. I'm looking for the cosine from the perspective of angle A. I'm looking for adjacent over hypotenuse, so I'm going to say the cosine of angle A is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And there we go. That won't reduce, so I'm finished. What we've done is we were just given a bunch of information that doesn't look like much, but we put it within the context of a right triangle, and that enables us to find what it is that we were asked to find. Okay? doesn't look like a right triangle, but if you remember A, B, C, and all that sort of stuff where C is the right angle, it makes sense, I hope. Hopefully it makes sense. Best of luck.